and welcome to a game called The Uncle Who Works for Nintendo. Dun dun dun. Okay. This game and you send down to the headphones for the best experience occasionally may take control of your browser. Uh, it is not optimized for mobile for connecting trigger warnings. Content and trigger warnings. Click here. No. Okay, you are 11 years old. What is your best friend's name? Well, the best friend's name is Nate, so I'm gonna go with something that is very close to that. Nicole, no. Ryan, Sarah. Uh, I don't know. And my second best friend's name is Brayden, so I'm just gonna go with Brandon. Okay. Your best friend, Brandon, has invited you to a steepover at his house this weekend. This, you've been friends since first grade, so asking your mom is basically only a formality. That's just my mom. You're never comfort confirmed this, but you suspect the babysitter may charge extra when there are two kids sometimes. You sometimes feel like staying somewhere else is the only way you can help out. You've been friends since you're, okay. Only a formality. Oh. On Friday night, you're home for only a few hours, long enough to pack and fight with your younger sister, pack some more, and watch some TV. At six sharp, you're standing on the sidewalk outside Brandon's house while your mom ideals in her car nearby. She leans out the window to you. You're, you behave yourself, okay? She says, as always, I'll be at work, and, but if anything happens, you call me. Okay, so you say, yes, mom, or, oh, okay, ma'am. Uh, I should go with, yes, mom, I'm gonna be late on this. Um, I'll pick you up tomorrow at three, she says again, as usual. But then she pauses, looking up at the sky, which has been overcast throughout the day. Play outside, she adds, be careful, it's probably gonna rain. Kiss mom goodbye, wave bye. I'm going to be a good guy and kiss my mommy. <laughs> after you part your mom, uh, after you part your mom, drives down the street, wait, after you, okay, oh, after you part, your mom drives down the street, disappearing around the corner. You, you turn back to Brandon's house, the lights inside are glowing warmly, you can see Brandon waving in front at you from his bedroom at the, on the second floor, head inside. Okay, it is 6 p.m. Sounds a lot like Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Brandon's mom meets you just inside. Hello, she says. Ben and we'll be ready in a few minutes. You could... But you can drop your stuff off in the den. You and Brenda are not camping up that night. Hey! Oh wait, out there. Okay. Uh, nod and go to the den. Cool, okay. I'm just gonna nod and go to the den. You drop your sleeping and overnight bags in the corner of the den and take a pause to look around. You, behind the couch, a grandfather clock is ticking softly through a set of patio doors on the far side of the room. You can see the sky is just as gray as it was when your mom left. Frame, frame pictures line the walls and over the dark fireplace hangs a monstrous pair of antlers from the book that Brandon's dad shot years ago. And, oops, sorry. Yep, yep. and of course, there's a big screen TV. Sometimes it makes you uncomfortable how much nicer Brandon's house is than yours. Ah, You know that time when you go to your friend's house and then, like, say you have a little old PlayStation 3 and a tiny old Pac-Man? Controller sucks. That's a, that Pac-Man controller is awesome. I made a video on it a while ago, but I didn't upload it because. But you could barely see my thing, and you can see my room, which on the thing it's kind of a little man, nah, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, yeah, and then they have like a PS4, and then freaking Minecraft for that PS4 sucks when that happens. So, anyways, sometimes, okay, anyway, you drop your sleeping 
and overnight's back in the corner of the den take a toss to look around behind the guy. Okay, blah, 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 Brandon entered the room while you were while you weren't paying attention and he now stands in the doorway smiling expectantly. Are you ready for dinner? Yeah. Heck yeah. Dinner passes quickly. Tonight's meal is spaghetti and meatballs, one of Brandon's favorite meals as his mother points out while piling a helping on your plate. Brandon's father cracks a beer and jovially interrogates you about how much trouble you and Brandon are getting in at school. Dessert is is heaping balls of ice cream jizzled in t chocolate sauce. Mm, that was, that, that sounds good. Oh, uh, I'm... Dinner, please be here. I'm hungry. You can't even finish yours. The grandfather cock is in the den chimes. How much time? Oh, you go along now since Brendan's mom smiling from her from the uh, s smiling from her side of the table. Let's go get the TV ready, says Brandon. <laughs> the two of you leave the dining room and head upstairs. Okay. Brandon's room is is immense. You stay in the den because the TV is larger there, but there is a sizable one here. Flush with the Oh my gosh! That is loud as well. Okay. Sorry, that is not me. Uh, you stay in the den because the TV is larger than blah 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 flush run flush with the thud what the wall the full side bed. We'll take the sixty four the sixty four down first. Yeah, the Nintendo sixty four even though I never played it before. No seriously. I want to though. Uh actually I have. I have played the Nintendo sixty four. At a museum. Brandon heading toward his TV and opening the entertainment center cabinet. Okay then. It's his prerogative per pro pre pro bleb bleb p g I don't know. Of course he gets to choose what you play first usually, but as Brandon begins unhooking the cords of the of the N64. TV, you can decide about other things. Wait a minute. Unhooking? Oh, wait, unhooking the cord. Okay, never mind. Uh, you can just sight of the other things he has in there. All the major stuff, the old NES, PlayStation, a uh, Dreamcast. I played every single one of them except the NES, SNES, and a Dreamcast. I played the PlayStation. Yeah. I have PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. Uh, but some other things too, things you don't really recognize, a large black box with green highlights, a small purple one, a strange white and yellow tower with what look like gloves resting on hooks on either side, a compact white cone. What are those? Brandon looks to the clutter in the cabinet. Sorry for shaking. Oh yeah, he says they're pretty cool. I can't show them to you though. They're still a secret, I promise my uncle. Of course, you suddenly remember his uncle. Ba -ba -mom. The uncle who works for Nintendo. Oh, look at that. Oh! In the corner, in the corner, the grandfather car can softly through his... Okay, I'm gonna go over here first. Wait, in the nearby scent of the petty doors you can see in the square getting dark, frames along the walls, friends parked in front of the large TV playing something on the N6 Nintendo 64. Uh, talk to Brandon, watch me. Um, I'm gonna the grandfather car. Seven. Oh, that wasn't much. Walking down the room and inspecting the pictures of Violet, most of them are family portraits from the past, back, creating lovely father, uh, one of three of their own, a happy, tidy family. Ooh, I love the pictures. You don't find any, not one, only on the picture. Now, parents, you don't know why that makes you feel uneasy. Time passes. That's a good time is. 7.30? That's garp. Dr. Brandon? Uh, okay. You know, for a while you and Brandon talk about the game on TV. It's not, it's not, it's not one you're familiar with. And 
Brandon ex explains the elaborate systems in some detail in our classes. So it is you are in the middle. So it is eight. It's an hour. It was seven thirty. Oh, that's seven thirty. Come on. Watch Brandon play. Um, Brandon said you should play the next game alone. It's pretty boring. You're at a you're at a party having a conversation with the man in the business suit, but for some reason you can't move the camera. You can't move the camera up to see his mouth. He's always smiling. That's kind of creepy. What kind of game is that? He tells you about a story about how people must take it for someone else. Did you figure it out? Ooh, okay. Uh, as Brandon wants a man in the game and apparently stood up and left the conversation. Figure what out? I guess not. He says before putting his choice in the game, uh, you realize he plays the game for quite some time. Okay. Brandon and mother brought them to the room on a large ceramic bowl of filled with popcorn under an arm. How are you kids doing? She asked. Good, said Brandon, his head not moving from the television. I hope you're having I hope you're having fun, says Brandon's mom. Here's some popcorn. Extra butter. She places it on the floor by Brandon. Hmm. Okay. Almost immediately, Brandon is shoving, shoveling popcorn into his mouth. Meanwhile, his mother smiles first at him and then back at you. There's soda in the kitchen if you get thirsty, she says, and some pizza from the other night if you get hungry. Uh, thank you. I'm gonna be polite. Polite. Okay. Okay. She looks at Brandon. Your father's going to bed. I'll be there. I'll be there soon. Myself. I want you to to keep it quiet, all right? Yes, Mom. Brennan says tiredly. Oh, and before I forget, she adds, your uncle called. He suddenly has some business in here and on tomorrow. Bloody drive. He bloody driving here early. He'll be here around midnight. That's great. For the first time, Brandon stopped playing his game, stopped seeing, stopped seeing Capcom, and turned to look at his mother. Oh dear. He says, I want you to, to welcome him in. He, he'll be very tired and very hungry, so offer him something to eat before he goes to bed. Okay, Mom. Good night, kids. And with that, she goes. And she's out of here. In the corner, and then a uh, bowl of popcorn. I'm gonna, you know, do my own. Grab on man, buttery and delicious. So, what time is it? It's nine. Nine, okay. Uh, uh I'm gonna watch Brandon play. Ooh, wait. Um, you're feeling interest and apparently are showing it. Brandon looks at you and bites his lip. Watch this, he says. On screen, the game's main character is in a car in the crowded street in what looks like a virtual New York City. Brandon revs up and begins mowing down pedestrians, giggling. Oh, what an evil Brandon. Brandon, you are evil. I don't see him, though. I'm, that's, that's a couch. And stuff like that. We don't see any couch. There's no couch, right? So yeah, you don't think this is very funny, but to Brandon, it's hilarious. Well, I think it'd be hilarious too. After a while, he stops the car and waits an ambulance appears, and once the pair of men decides that he beats them to death with a baseball bat. Isn't this great? Yes, this goes on for a while. Car time, you are in the den. Against raining outside. Okay, uh, so, 10. Um, watch Brandon play, go to the bathroom, go to the kitchen, nope, I'm gonna go to the bathroom through the empty dining room, you enter the kitchen, which is also deserted right now, fridge, go back to the den, fridge, uh, there are a few things here, soda, cold pizza, milk, I'm gonna have some healthy soda, <laughs> you grab your snack and exit the kitchen, head back to the den, um, Ask about his uncle's name. So why is your um uncle coming? I don't know. Business. Some business, you know. 
Brand truck, this and that. Okay, um, but I thought he worked for Nintendo. He does. It says, it says Brandon, frowning but not looking away from the TV screen. He is, he is really important. Does Nintendo have a lot of business there? Why else would my uncle be coming? Brandon says, as if you ask the dumbest question in the world. Well, it's cool, you know, I'll finally get to meet him. Okay. Yeah, agrees, Brandon. Uh, Brandon. 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 I think you'll like him. I sort of work. Uh, I'm do. Um, how should I know? I don't want one. Right now, he's not quite yelling, but I. But you think he? If he, keep, if you keep pressing, I don't think I believe you about your uncle. What do you say to that, folks? <laughs> Um, Brandon takes a moment to respond if, as if he's not quite sure he heard you correctly. What? I don't believe your uncle works for Nintendo, fool! <laughs> you think you finally done it. Bre Brandon stands up, fists clenched at his sides, mouth twisting horrible at his, and he struggles to say something. You want to You and both already. Clench your teeth and wait. Da -da 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 -da. Brandon darts forward and pushes you back into the hard before. Crack your skull against the carpet. You take it in a bit of it and throw a hundred and take a moment to be dazed. You lie there, expect another punch or kick. You smash another hat. Slowly you sit up and see Brandon sitting there, arms still stiff at his sides, breathing heavily. You realize, you realize, he is close to crying. Hey, sorry, I didn't mean it. Jackson said, remember something, never mind, he says, just, just never mind. You want, you want to say something more, but he's already re-immersed in the video game. You take a breather. Okay, so I'm gonna, hey, where's the option? Where's the option? 10.30, Dr. Brandon. Um, it's cool. Cool, why not? Let's take a little bit. Okay, now we're fast. Oh, okay. Um, uh, eleven. It says an hour passes. You should say a half an hour. A half an hour passes. Yeah. Uh, think about. Huh, okay. It begins with. It began with mute. I didn't believe him at first. The band came to school one day and told him, and, and told you he finally caught mute. Prove it. You said, pulled in his Game Boy and showed you. Oh, there it was. Mew, the 151st Pokemon. Available on players at the promotional event. Advent. 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 Holy crud. Can I not say anything today? I think it. Okay. Uh, it's really strong. Wait, so bad with luck on Brandon's game. It's really strong, he said. It kills every enemy in one hit. So you can do one of those little things. No, wait, that's the car, yo. Okay, never mind. Brandon demonstrates this claim at recess when you and some other friends link Game Boys to do battle. You were first. You were the first one down. No one else got a. No one else got a single hit. Brandon knew. Oh, yours, Brandon. Oh, okay. Oh, my uncle got a job in Nintendo. Said Brandon. You were walking home to get a one. You Ride the construction crew. Brandon lives still lives next door at the time. Uh, that's like your oh, those got he got me a new Game Boy. Brand, uh, said Brandon, pulling out his pocket, pulling it out of his pocket. You hadn't noticed it earlier, but yes, Brandon now has a sleek new Game Boy Color. Until today, he had one of those old ones, a big gray brick like yours. Oh, that's kind of mean. Oh wait, you're offending you're offending yourself. This one's a special edition, said Brandon. Isn't it cool? You agree. Yes, I do agree. You snap at your reflections. The in the corner the grandfather clap the clock okay. Um uh, I'm gonna go to the kitchen again. Fridge. I'm gonna have a lot of more. Okay. You are in the den. Oh. Okay.
Okay, the grandfather caught chimes the hour as, some, as Brandon suddenly looks up from the end of the sixth floor. It's time, he says. Or maybe I should do that in a less menacing voice. Huh? Oh, it's time. Is your uncle here? That's something like a menacing knock. That's him. It says Brandon standing up. I should go to the man. Please again when you, you could follow, but a part of you really feels like okay, I'm just gonna be scared for a bit. Uh bathroom. Run down the hall to the bathroom and lock the door behind you. Uh the walls are what the walls are bare and white and there's no single or toilet, but there is an odd featureless white boxes shower or shower. Slip into the weight on one box the sides of the shower. From the front of the house you can hear the front door slam open. You don't hear anything except Child. The rain. No, that's not the rain. With the voice in the back of your head like I am coming for you. Like something you can't even begin to describe. You though you looked you, though you locked the door behind you, you you hear it open easily. Someone walks in. Close your eyes. Not sure it's ever out of there, but you don't know exactly. Oh, child. Hearing it moving, but you know it's there, and you know it's stopped. Poor, poor child. Right outside your hiding spot. It opens the door, and even though you immediately realize it doesn't have any hands. Oh, my God. What? That. Oh, child. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so hungry. You cannot run, child. Hello, child. No more words, child. Hello, child. Please. I am for you, child. I am for you. I in the board to play forever. And the bubble, 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 and the 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 click this. Oh, okay, so, oh, there are endings? Okay, so I'm gonna, oh wait, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, uh, do each ending every single, uh, episode. So if you enjoyed this video, put it in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, bye. And do not forget to like, Oh my god, I didn't say that right, but bye. Just messed that all the up. Okay, everybody. Okay, I'm just gonna try that again. Okay, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, put it in the comment below, and I'll see you in this video. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every day. So, yeah, bye, bye. Woohoo! I just did that fast. Okay, bye.